wing is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, fifth canto, fifth chapter, text number one and two, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on September seventh, nineteen seventy-three, in Stockholm, Sweden. So. <clears throat> Uttumi Baha Rishava Iti. We are discussing about the instruction of Lord Vishabde uh, to his son. Taruttam <coughs> Upayana. Bhagavad Upasanam Upadesha Upadekhamana Bhairagun Vina Upadeshtopi Bhakti Yoga Na Samma Pratitishthati Radutpattaye Kavan Ninnati Nayam Ittaddayana hmm. This is a note given by B. Raghavachar. He belongs to the Ramanuja Sampradaya. We have got four disciplic succession. Uh, Madhya Chargers, Sampradaya or succession, Ramanuja, Vishnu Shami, and um, what is the other? Nimbak. So B Raghava Chargya belongs to the Ramanuja disciple succeeds. He is a very famous man. Acharya. <clears throat> so he says that Bhagavat Upasanam Upadekshamana Bhairagvangmina Upadishtopi Bhakti Yoga Na Sammak Pratitishtati. We may give instruction for many years, but unless one practices vairāgya, renunciation, vairāgya bhīnā, this bhakti yoga, another name is vairāgya yoga. That is the pointed out by Sagavhama Bhattacharya. When he offered his prayer to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said, Vairāgya vidyā nija bhakti yogam sikhārtameka purusa purāna Sri Krishna Chaitanya sarīra dhāvi kipāṁ buddhijyastamaham prapadde. He said that this Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the same Lord Krishna. Krishna advised Sarva Dharman Parityajama Mekam Saranamuja. This Sarva Dharman includes all our material activities. So, but people could not understand. The instruction is still standing. Krishna said, Sarvadharman Parittajya. Just simply surrender unto me. And nobody is doing that. God says that you surrender unto me. I shall give you all protection. There is assurance. But we are so unfortunate that we cannot believe or cannot be assured on the words of God also. We do not believe. Or God cannot give us protection. Let me try my own technology. I shall protect myself. This is God. That means he is not detached with this material activity. Krishna says also that he give up. Just like we are also saying, 
There are so many proposals. They come, philanthropies, the people are starving. We have to see, first of all, that the communists say, then we can discuss about spiritual. There are so many people starving, as if they have taken contract for feeding them. But these are only simply big, big words. They cannot do anything. Neither they are willing. They are simply after their own sense gratitude. Yeah. Otherwise, why so many uh, people all over the world, there is voluntary starving, just like the hippies. Yeah. Why they are lying down on the street, on the park, no uh, fixed up program for eating, sleeping? They are not poor men, son. So, uh, nature's way will work. You cannot stop that. But because they cannot give her attachment for this material activity, they put some manifesto that we are working for this. After finishing this task, then he shall take to the consideration of spiritual life. So this is called will of the wish. What is that will of the wish? There is a fire and the fire goes ahead and the man follows. It is something like that. They cannot do anything. Actually they have got attachment for this material activity and they put forward different types of manifesto. But if one is serious about going back to home, back to Godhead, first of all they have no such information that there is a place where God lives. They think it is all fictitious. Oh, why it is fictitious? Uh, if you accept there is God, Oh, why? What is the objection to accept a place for him? We have got our place. We have got our residential quarter, and God has provided us all all these facilities. And He has no facility. He is impersonal. He has no place. Just see. So these things cannot be understood by the materialistic person. Therefore, uh, one has to practice bhairāgya, renunciation. That is pointed out here. Uh, Bhagavat upāsanam uh, upadekṣamāna bhairāgya vina upadishtopi bhakti yoga na sammak pratitiṣṭhati uh, Side by side, we have to practice uh, voluntarily to be detached from material activities. Then uh, we can make progress in devotional service. Tadut Pattaye Kaman Nindati. This is our voluntary war. If we want to be detached, uh, because Krishna is so kind, if you have got even a little pinch of attachment for this material world, uh, you are not allowed to enter into the kingdom of God. Uh, you must be completely free. Uh, therefore, Bhakti Yoga is enunciated by Rupa Goswami. Annavilasita sunnam. Uh, Annavilasita sunnam. Sunnam means zero. All kinds of material desires should be made into zero. Annavilasita sunnam. Uh, Jnana karma dhanabrita. Jnana, uh, speculative method for understanding the absolute truth. As the Mahabadis, they are speculating 
This is not, this is not, this is not. Neti, neti. This is gyan. And karma means they're struggling hard to enjoy the fruitive result, as we see generally everywhere. They're working so hard. Big, big buildings, big, big factories, big, big roads, cities, so many things. They are trying to be happy by such advancement of material objects. They are called kurmi. Some of them are trying to be happy uh, within this material, within this world, or in, within this life. And there are others also. They are also performing big, big jagas, charities, so that next life they may also take birth in very nice family or maybe elevated to the higher planetary system where the standard of life is thousand times better than here. Uh, there is all arrangement. Uh, so they are trying for that, not only to become very bodily happy in this life, but also next life. But as there is difficulty, suppose if you want to be happy materially, uh, then we, you see how they are working very hard. Uh, they have no time. In the morning at half past five, uh, we go for morning walk, we see workers are going to attain. At night, you Europeans, you know better than me how they are working very, very hard. What is the idea? To become happy, to satisfy the senses. Similarly, there are others uh, who know that uh, there is life after death. So they are also preparing how next life also will be happy. We may take birth in very rich family, in a higher planet, heavenly planet. So this hard labor is going on. So Vishabdev uh, says that this hard labor should be strong. There is no need of so much hard labor. Why you should work so hard? They, this such kind of hard labor is seen amongst the animals. Because there are animals, uh, just like we saw, uh, one jackal was passing on the street. Uh, so they come out in the night. Uh, this, some of the animals, especially ferocious animals, they come out at night. Uh, for the food. Uh, everyone is working hard, they also come. So animals also, they are also very working very hard. Uh, that is given example, the hogs and dogs. So that is restricted. Uh, if you go on working for better standard of life, then you will be attached to this work and your mind will be absorbed in such work, and if the mind continues to be absorbed in working so hard, then after giving up this body, you will have to accept another body to fulfill such desires within the mind. Krishna will give you full facility. Therefore, uh, it is said, deho vithāgamadde jo niloka Manusha, thus means, hmm, uh, thus means, uh, satyam manusya deha kastan krichyan uh, sampadamanam ato dukha rupan kaman jagyadini. Jagyadini prati nārhati uh, kaman anubhavitam nārhati ittartha. Prishadva says that simply for sense gratification, don't work so much. Actually, oh, we haven't got to work. Everything is there. We have repeatedly discussed. 
just like in the morning, the birds get up. They do not work very hard. They know that we shall go in some upon some tree and there is food, there is some fruit. And you say, there is no good problem, very great problem. The animals are also, they are assured. Everyone is assured. And even human beings, just like sunness, they are also assured. Just like when I came to your country, there was no friend, there was no relative. But assurance was there that I am going for Krishna's business. So there is some provision. Never mind where it is. That much faith we must have. Actually, for even one is not Krishna conscious, one is not devotee of Krishna, he has also provision. That provision is there. So why should we work so hard? Our business is to save time, how to become. Uh, advance in Krishna consciousness, uh, that people cannot understand it. <coughs> now, how to be, be, how to become detached from this habit of hard working, that is suggested here. Uh, uh, <coughs> it is said, uh, uh, mahaseva uh, of saintly person. If you associate with them, if you serve them, try to serve them, that practice is still in India. If a sannyasi, you will find some Chaitanya Chaitanya So see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is going from village to village, but any village he goes, Generally, the sannyasi goes to a temple <coughs> because temple is for meant for the traveling sannyasi. And as soon as one sannyasi is still, this custom is prevalent in India. As soon as somebody sees a sannyasi has come in a temple, somebody from the village, not somebody, but many will come. Uh, sir, you can take your luncheon at my place. So there is no scarcity. Uh, many people will come uh, to invite you. But still, therefore, many pseudo or funny sannis, they have taken this profession because there is no difficulty getting food. So, Mahaseva. Uh, the, what, the, what is the idea? The idea is the grihasthas, they know that we are simply engaged in the matter of sense gratification uh, if we invite some saintly person at home, if he is at my place, then we commit so many sinful activities, uh, we will be saved. Uh, this is the process. Therefore, uh, a sannyasi is advised to accept prasadam in the house of a brahmana. Because a brahmana is supposed very, to be, become very pious. If you take food stuff from impious man, then that means you are taking share of his impious activity. But a saintly person, they can digest. But he cannot digest, then he have to suffer. Uh, this is the problem. Then he has to suffer. Uh, therefore the safety principle is to accept luncheon in a past family, where there is Vaishnava family or Brahman family. Uh, not that anywhere we can accept cooked food. Sometimes we have to do it, but that is against principle. Uh, we should not accept food anywhere and everywhere, unless he is pious. Uh, 
The brahmanas are supposed to be pious, therefore it's unnecessary is advice to accept food, luncheon, in the Brahman family. The Brahman family is still, not at all, a few families still in India. They worship regularly Narayan Sila, Salagrana Sila. Therefore, uh, one should be anxious to give some service to the saintly person. <coughs> Mahaseva. Dharam. If you engage yourself how to serve a saintly person, then your door for going back to Godhead will gradually become open. Mahaseva dharam ahu vimukti. This human body it is in the junction. You can go this way or you can go that way. This way means mahaseva, liberation. But people do not understand what is liberation. They are so dull. They have been their education system is so rubbish that they do not know what is liberation. Just like cats and dogs, they do not know what is liberation. Liberation means to get out of this false condition and life and thinking on this body which I am not and therefore on acting on the bodily concept of life and becoming entangled more and more so that I have to accept another body, another body, another body. This is my conditional state of life and there is so much risk to accept another body as it is said in the Bhagavad Gita. Tathādhi, hāndara prāpti. You have to accept another body. And what kind of body I am going to get that I do not know. Now suppose if I get another body in the plant life, a tree, a tree can stand for thousands of years. And if you get that sort of life, how much risky it is to accept another body. It is also possible. Those who are performing big, big yoga, <coughs> charity, they can expect to be transferred to the heavenly planet. But those who are not doing anything, living like cats and dogs, well, their life is very risky. Very risky. But they do not know. There is no such education. But here it is recommended that mahaseva dharma If you associate with saintly persons, then there is possibility of your door being open for liberation. Dharma ahud So We are opening many centers all over the world. Why? To give people chance of having this association of Vaishnava, Mahat, Mahatma. Uh, therefore, those who are in charge of such centers, they must be ideal Mahatmas. Mahatma means devotees. Mahatma Anastamang Pratha Devi Pratiti Mas. Vajanti Anandamas. Mahatma means whose Atma, whose soul is engaged in the service of the Supreme Lord. Is Mahatma. Otherwise, Khudratma. God is all pervading. So, whose Atma has become attached to the old heart, pervading super soul, he is called Mahatma. Otherwise, Khudratma. If our heart is attached to limited circle of my friends, wife, children, home, country, then I am Khudratma, because that is limited. Kudratma, Adduratma. And the opposite is Mahatma, Mahan, great. So we have to associate with Mahatma. Mahaseva, how associate? That with the Pranipati, na Pariprasne, na Sevaya. To associate. Therefore, it is the custom. Whenever one goes to see one saintly person, 
he did something for service, uh, either fruits or something presentation. That is necessary. Maha seva, it is said. Seva means service. Maha seva. Not that I go to see one Mahatma sent the person and talk with him with all rascal proposals and waste his time and his own time also. And that is not association of the Mahatma. Maha seva. You must approach a sentient person to give him some service. Uh, this is the beginning. <coughs> Spiritual advancement of life means uh, you have to give some service. Uh, that service uh, begins uh, when we serve the representative of Krishna, uh, Mahatma, uh, his spiritual master or saintly person. We shall discuss again. Thank you very much. Thank you.